Guys, I just picked up four and a half boxes of uh, real drill tapes. I thought I stopped this hobby, but it was an offer I couldn't resist. And a box of cassette tapes. Now, most of these tapes are uh, seven inches, some of them are smaller. I don't know what's in there yet. The price was good enough to just go by. Okay, they're heavy, let's take them home. Um, so I don't know what's in there yet. It's probably already uh, sort of sorted out, so I don't expect any expensive reels. I'm just going to go through them and uh, show you what's in there. Not everything. That's going to be boring. So I'm just going to go for the highlights. But let's at least start with what's on top. Horrible German Germanness. But they're pre-recorded, so they may actually hold some value. They look, uh, they look to be healthy on Polador. The tape is very obviously BASF. Uh, yes, I can smell that. You do get experience. They are very cold now, but yeah. Looks good. Looks uh, healthy. Yeah, same story. Different kind. That's probably an older one. This uh, smells like uh, LH Pro, actually, without the back coating. And another one. Good stuff. So I'm just going to uh, put these to the side and see later if they have any value. I mean, if you like German Schlager music, they should have some value. Let's start just with the first one. Probably a white scotch reel. No, it's a BASF reel with BASF tape. So that's not in the right box, but it is. Often a quite usable tape if you're not too picky. I'm just going to stop the video now and just show you the highlights. I think this guy actually went through the effort of putting all his tapes in bags, even though they weren't there, because I'm pretty sure these are actually not tape bags. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. This is kind of cool. It's a scotch tape, but it's a really cool, uh, slightly damp, that's why it looks a bit matte, but it's in really good shape. Sony reel, Sony m reel. Um, these are actually quite desirable, not very valuable, but desirable for a uh, Sony real reel recorder from the 70s because they look really good on those, so that's cool. Classical music. Erase. Apparently this person didn't like classical music very much. It's a cool reel though. It's, uh, again, some randomly cut bag. Uh, I think this may be a Radio Shack reel. It's in a Shannon box, but I'm pretty sure there's not a Shannon tape. Shannon and Shamrock were, I think, the same tapes, even the same box, it's just the brand is different. There you go. Here we have an Ampex Grandmaster, which is actually a really good tape if they're still in good shape. And it's also in there. So that's a really cool one-hole Ampex reel. I actually do like these reels. HD, good. Okay, not sure what that means. But it's, uh, it's a Scotch reel again. Pretty sure that's BASF tape again. There's loads of BASF LPR in here so far. That's not on the reel that goes with it. The reels look really good too, in, in nice shape. Nothing is damaged or very dirty so far. Here's a Shamrock box, not the kind that uh, is comparable to the Shannon one. I'm actually, I'm not quite sure if I'm right. Maybe, maybe I'm somehow mixing them up. I don't. I think they may be the same tape. They also have the same font, but I don't think they actually have the same boxes. Uh, but. Um, this is kind of cool, it actually has a sticker with the new price on it, 4 euros and 90 cents, 4 guilders and 90 cents, it's something like 2 and a half dollars, US dollars these days. And it has really good looking tape actually, it's really clean, on a nice classic 3M scotch reel. Cool reel I think, looks pretty. So in this Sony box is actually a reel that belongs to a TDK, TDK Audio Art tape, it doesn't have the TDK Audio Art leader but that's always the case because these always fall off so someone actually put a new leader on it because the tape is TDK audio art. so that's actually a really good and reliable tape um, still even after all those years that's a good find find another pre-recorded one not sure what it is yet it's Freddy das große Wunschkonzert so same story same kind of music same horribleness but pre-recorded tape so perhaps Someone's looking for this. I mean, loads of Germans still use it. It's a big thing there, so it may actually be a good sign. Uh, we get to the smaller ones in this box now. So this is all, uh, what's that, 6 inch, I think? Uh, BSF, someone painted on it. BSF. And uh, the classic BSF. Actually, if this is still the original tape, and it looks to be, it also looks really nice. Look at, look at how good this looks. Really shiny and nice from the side. If this is the original tape, that should actually be completely usable. The old BASF tape with the old logo are perfectly fine, usually. Figured I'd turn on a light, maybe smart. This one says, owned by R.P. Lawrence. Not sure who that is, but they find it necessary to write their name on the legal tape for some reason. Good sound quality, tested 6th of March 2019. This is actually from the guy I bought it from, his name on there as well. So, uh, 
these have been tested, as I suspected. The English Top 100 of 1968, that's actually possibly quite a cool tape to hang on to or digitize. Fair trade premium quality bananas. There's more. Rock compilation. My Tramp. I don't know many of these. Okay, Dream Theater, there we go. LK Brooks apparently, and also a white Agfa Lido tape. I think that's the one you could buy separately, but I'm not quite sure. The tapes look, this one too, in amazing shape. So for those not from uh, Europe, or at least this part of Europe, this is an Aristona reel. Aristona is one of the um, subdivisions of Philips. It's exactly the same, just with slightly different design. So this is the Aristona reel, it's just Philips tape, and it's also just the same reel with a different label. I don't think you'll see these very much overseas, uh, especially in the Americas, so I uh, figured I'd show you. We got a Maxell reel, of course there's no Maxell tape on it, but it's a pretty reel nonetheless, in really nice shape, again, really good looking tape. Yeah, I was like, that's Agfa, isn't it? It's PE36. These are also reels I quite like, it's the Agfa with the massive holes. You also have them in the 13 centimeter or a five inch size, uh, but usually you find them as such. Cool reel. Also, I like these boxes, they're really practical and really sturdy. If I had to choose a favorite box, it would be these. Here's another one of my favorite reels, the uh, TDK uh, GX Alex Alex B reel. Uh, generally really good tape, this is not any of those tapes. What is this even? You know, oh, something fell out. What is it? It's another Sony reel. I found a lot of these by now. Um, fun fact, that's actually a tape that belongs on that reel. This is TDK Audio, yeah, with the original leader as well. So that's cool. Uh, good, uh, sorry, not audio, uh, uh, LX, which is good tape. I think if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning of the tape, it actually says LX on the leader, but uh, not at the end, because by then you should know, I guess. I don't use CDs. Chris Robinson Brotherhood, that's good stuff, actually. And then again, the rest is not all equally known. I'm going to listen through these. I may make a nice compilation uh, tape or something out of them. It's a lot of them, too. These boxes are actually meant for uh, for reels for film, not for reel to reel tape. They are slightly too wide. What's this again? That's Sony as well, right? It doesn't say so. I'm pretty sure this is a Sony reel, but it doesn't say anything on it. So, is it? Is there anything underneath? No, no printing. Oh, there you go. Wait, it is there. See? I mean, it's not on this side. Is that normal? There's something. Is it a misprint? Is it valuable? I can't remember that, only being on one side, but maybe I'm just a bit getting old. If you have really old reels -to reels and you're looking for a, a reel that goes with them, these generic reels actually work really well. There's nothing on them, they look retro and they work, so they are kind of cool to use if you just need an empty reel for a reel to reel. Saba! If you have a Saba machine, here you go, here's your reel. Ah, here's the Philips reel. That's the same as that uh, Aristona one that I showed you earlier, except this is the original Philips reel with something very different on it. That's not Philips tape at all. I am sort of building boxes around the camera now, so I'm going to do something about that in a second. Wait. Then we go to the smaller reels. Here's a really nice looking egg file that actually seems to contain the correct tape with a little blocking thing that you can take out. So the tape won't fall out. It's kind of cool, I like these. I'm not sure why they don't use those on big reels generally. You only see them on these six inch ones. See, there's the Philips one again in uh, six inch. Really nice shape, by the way, really shiny, and a nice looking BSF. Oh, a Grundig box. I have a thing for Grundig. Let's see if there's actually a Grundig reel in there. No, it's a Philips. Ah. A Grundig reel! Yay! My first reel to reel ever was a Grundig, a TK141. I still have it. Owned it since uh, 1987 when I was three. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. So I do have a soft spot for old Grundig reel to reel stuff. Another cool generic reel. I like those. This is, by the way, a tape that's in horrible shape. Look, see how wiggly all the lines are? That's probably gonna be shit, but <laughs> so far they look good. This is only half a box. Let's do this one, and then the cassettes, and then the other two boxes of tapes. This looks newish. It's not, but it looks really good. It's a TDK. Audio again, in really nice shape, 
I told you that the leaders always fall off, right? Let's see if my story is true. Well, someone redid it badly. See? Here's the model before. I'm not sure if it recorded just now, actually, so I'm gonna show you the other one. This is, I think, the late 80s model. I think this is the early 80s model of TDKSA. Actually, really nice sounding tapes. Nothing too special. They're not chromium oxide. Uh, I do, I, I do think though that the AD, which is a ferric tape, actually sounds better than the SA. People thought that chromium was all this rage, but it, it's just not that special. It's just a different formula. It's not better or worse. It's different. Here's the 90s SA. Um, and I generally prefer uh, a good ferric tape. Uh, low end's better, and it just sounds a bit looser, not like as tight. Sony FM, very reliable ferric tape. Aquarela do Brasil. Interesting. Everyone's favorite affordable Type 2, Maxell XL2. It is a very good tape, but the XL2S is a lot better. Grab them. These are not usable either, but you don't see them very often. The PDMs. This is the PDM CD90. Um, I'm not sure if this is... Yeah, it smells the same, actually. These uh, actually give off a lot of oxide, but I do like the shell and the reel, so I may... Since it has screws, I may put new tape on it because I just like the aesthetics. Yeah, you know, form of a function, right? Hey, we got us other metal tape, MA110. I'm seeing myself, can you tell? That's kind of cool. Here's BSF's Chrome Dioxide 2, kind of a cool tape. And generally, actually, very usable, uh, despite their age, because I think this is late 70s, I'm not mistaken. Maybe early 80s, I'm not sure. I don't remember ever having seen this one before. I'm not even sure if it's upside down right now because, no, yeah it is, because mirrored image. It's the BASF Chrome Dioxide from the first generation in 120 minutes. I'm throwing the box to the floor, but there you go. I haven't seen that before. I'm not sure how usable it will be because it's a very thin tape. Well, it's everywhere. And because, um, yeah, look at it. I don't think that's going to sound great, but I'm still going to give it a shot because I'm curious now. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, love the design on this one. I'm a bit of a sucker for the blue and gold combination on uh, these kinds of things. Look at that. It's a fairy chrome tape, so that's um, type 3. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful looking tape. I have no idea how usable they are, whether they sound any good, because I haven't ever had one before. There's some interesting stuff in this box. I know this is a bad idea, but I have nowhere to put the tapes otherwise, so I need a box. Ooh, that went better than expected. Oh, it's a tape case. The grid's falling over. XL2, everyone's favorite affordable chromium tape. Good stuff. These are generally unusable, but I do like the design with all the blobs. Not sure what it stands for or whatever, but tape looks good too. It's a nice, uh, nice looking shape, but it's probably going to be shite. See how it says standard quality? Now here is the hi-fi quality one. It's a chromium tape, so that's uh, that's kind of cool how they did that. They made it look all shiny and silver as well. I don't know how reliable these are, to be honest. I'm going to hang on to it for a second, because I actually don't know whether they work well. So, you have the Maxell XL2S, which is the upmarket version of the XL2, and you also have the TDK SAX instead of SA. It's still not chromium tape, it's still just, uh, they call it Super Evelyn, I believe, but it's really good, it's a really nice tape. Also. Phillips with a cool sticker that came with the tape that I never saw before. Um, usable tape, generally. I hope this is in there. It's a 46-minute tape, just, just for a laugh. Yay! 46 minutes. Dorothy Dunohan. I guess you pronounce it like that. It, the, the box says El Giro. If anyone wanted to dance in the garden. Got a clash of cultures going on here. Viva la France. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Viva la France. Um, Viva is España. It is right. So we had standard quality and then we had hi-fi quality somewhere there. And now we have super quality, which is also a ferric tape. So now actually I'm curious how the standard and the super compare. As far as I know, they're both unusable by now. These are really early SAX. You don't see those very often. That's not the sticker that's supposed to be on there, it's way too big. 
I would like to show you. It is actually this. Oh man, I haven't seen this one before. There is actually a designated space for that way too big sticker. Did I just find another one? Yay! Another 46 minute tape. Woo! Whoa, here's another PDM CD something. Yeah. I always like these shells. They are pretty, nice and simple. Also, it's an AD. Great tape. AD, ADX, AR, ARX, all amazing tapes. Aha, uh -huh, got one. One of my favorite tapes of all time. Really heavy, too. A Maxell XL2S. Really good stuff. And here's another PDF. Another MA, a metal tape. Yay, another 110, by the way. Which is kind of annoying because one of the cassette decks I use most, uh, Nakamishi CR3, just a CR3, not an A or an E, uh, eats those tapes. Just those, no others. Just the, the MA 110. So that's an issue. It's our first that's not the triangular shaped window, but an RX, which is just a normal clean looking tape. These are these are very usable, nothing wrong with those. Also, yay, this is also good stuff. Sony UXS, just a, a middle of the road a chromium tape for Sony, but it's, it's a really nice sounding thing, I think. It's blue. New, improved quality. So I guess that's what Super is. Kind of cool because it's completely clean. I'm just gonna keep this one for the box, I think, because it's an and the casing on the tape, because it is kind of cool to have one that's in like new state. Now these bring back memories. Hema is a, a warehouse chain in the Netherlands, and my parents used to buy these tapes uh, when I was four or so, and I would record my own voice on them regularly. So, uh, I think we still have a few with me on them. They are reliable, apparently. Uh, but it's cool to have one that I can actually record myself for uh, all time. Say, does it have screws? Yeah, it does. So if it's shit, I can still reuse it. Okay, I've got plenty of those PDMs now, so the rest is just gonna go. When I was a kid, I was in the hospital for an asthmatic attack. I'm all fine now, by the way. Uh, and I would record the the uh, hospital personnel coming in to talk to me or to bring me food or whatever every time they came in. And I would use one of these tapes, I remember, on the Philips cassette recorder. People thought it was weird. I thought it was cool. I had loads of these back when I was a kid. Great tapes, actually, very usable. Is this the first series of TDKD? I think it is, right? The, the, the paperwork's falling off, but I'm pretty sure the tape will be fine. It is, in the end, a TDKD. I've never seen one go wrong, to be honest. Very fancy looking Maxell XL2 with the gold details, very pretty. Here's another one of those Sony's. Vive la France. They still get it. Seriously, there's so many SA's, it's ridiculous. This is all SA, and then there's, uh, this is an early one, by the way. Early SA. And then there's uh, all these SA's that are back in the box. Really, uh, plenty of tapes that I can record for others. I don't use SA's myself, because I have better tapes, but they are very reliable, and people generally like getting them. So I'm just gonna move those on to others, for whom I make mixtapes. All the SA. I need to uh, get rid of the pal. Another cool essay, because I think it's going to drastically alter your vision, otherwise. What's this? Ah, Philips CD1. It's not in there, but these weren't briefly available, and then people forgot about them for some reason. More essays. I mean, really, loads and loads of essays. I am not sad about that at all. Back to the hospital. My uh, uncle actually uh, recorded uh, Bert and Ernie tapes for me on... These Maxell tapes are supposed to smell very obviously, but this one for some reason doesn't. It says uh, smooth, sweet, soft and lazy jazz. That could be either horrible or amazing. Now, I have seen the Philips blue tape before, but an Aristona one. I didn't know that was a thing. What's on it? Freddy Fender. Ooh. What I think is quite impressive about TDKDs is even the old ones, they still sound like the new ones. They never change the formula apparently, and it's always reliable and sounds good. So, yeah, much underrated tape. Radio hits! Da, 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 da. Philips C90 cassette gives you 92 times 45 minutes of playing time in loads of languages. Hey, another UXS. Pretty shell. Also, someone printed this. Well, no, it's actually one of those inlays of an original tape. Nahia mein Gott zu dir. Ooh. Oh my god. Let's uh, take it away from me. Here's another SAX. It says Esoteric Days of Revenge. What on earth is that gonna be? Also, I'm not sure if you can see, but the skin is actually, the shell is actually kind of brown. 
It's not black, it's really dark brown, like really dark chocolate. Pretty. I'm not sure what the difference is between the VHF and the CHF tapes by Sony, but it's kind of cool that it's green. That's actually the last tape, so that was a bit of a surprise. I'm going to try and get this all back in the box in some sort of orderly manner. I want to say manually order, what the fuck, brain? So the box is uh, filled up again. I'm not going to pick it up and show it to you because everything's going to fall out. But uh, estimated 65-70% is all uh, SA, uh, XL1, XL1S, UX, uh, and uh, the better ferric tapes like the ADs. Um, then the rest of what's in the box is all good ferric tapes like TDKD and uh, Sony uh, HF, LN, that kind of stuff, Max LUR. And then this file, which is not that big actually. This is all that I'm not gonna try to use because it's probably gonna be shit. Uh, I would say that's a good score. I did find something else though. I found this pile of labels. It's actually all of the labels that come with well, with tapes. I'm not sure if it's with these tapes, but uh, they seem to be sort of the same. Yeah, I think they are actually uh, part of this deal. Um, I'm not sure what these belong to. Anyone has any idea? Haven't seen these before, very simple. Here's some Philips ones I haven't seen before. Pretty sure that's uh, part of this though. Random white label with nothing on them. This is really practical to have. I actually have a box where I keep all these. So I'm uh, quite happy to uh, add these to the collection. What's this then? Oh. These are for real to real tapes. I'm not sure which ones. But uh, yeah, let's uh, put this in my label box. Woo! Aroma, texture, and taste of Ecuador. Premium banana. Apparently. Ooh, this is a very different box. This this is okay. There's gonna be a lot of shit in here, possibly. In this case, the box does match with what's in it. I do like this those reels. But the tape is actually the correct leader as well, but these tapes are usually very sticky. Let's see about this one. Mm, that's a long leader. See, look. See how it doesn't really want to let go? It keeps sticking to... Ooh, there you go. That's what it does. It will fall at some point, but yeah, so that's completely unusable. Really nice reels though, so I'm going to see what I'll do with that. Um, these PR150s by Sony are hopeless, and it's a pity because they actually used to sound really good. I was still wonder where they got those bags. Seems like they went to an electronic store and got every bag. This is this is telling you this bag is not a toy. So I like these TDK LX boxes, but someone didn't because they just put white paper over it. But why? So it's supposed to be an LX 3590, but is it? It has the good the, the right reel and the right color and the random bag. Yes, actually. Let's see if I'm right about what I said earlier. That, oh, cool. What real to real run this up? Not, not a very good one. Yep. See, it actually does say so on the little tape that it's TDK Alex, but it doesn't at the end. Got news for you guys. Are you ready for this? That's valuable. I'm not sure if it's the ULH or SLH that's quite reliable, but I do like the box. It's very expensive looking. It also has the 15 IPS on there, so. This is meant to be used professionally. It comes with all the labels and such. Uh, these are actually, if you don't know, these are reversing strips. You put them on the tape and the machine will recognize them. It will contact. It will, it will make contact because it's uh, aluminium. And uh, aluminium, yes. Um, and then it will reverse. This tape is brand new. That is actually just brand new. It's, uh, yeah, that hasn't been pulled off and not going to because brand new tape. Really nice. Looking like new because it is new. To be honest, this box, I just said it wouldn't be great. Full of surprises. I jinxed it in the best way possible. These these reels look really cool when they're still so shiny because they have this, this shimmer. This box is full of surprises. We have a BASF box, but then I noticed the Maxell reel and I was like, ah, there will probably be shit tape on it. I can't actually find the opening again. Here we go. But that is actually Maxell. UD, like the cheap one, but still, that's that's a good tape. Uh, guaranteed reliable. It comes with a note, and it says record again. The guy had a system that I can't really figure out. But. So what do you think? Is this box supposed to be like this in your uh, cabinet or like this? I always have a hard time figuring it out. Whatever, it's not in there. It's uh, an old BSF, probably still usable. 
but uh, not the TDK, TDK Audio, which is a pity because those are one of the most reliable tapes out there. One of the reasons they are reliable, actually the main reason they're reliable, is that the Japanese, uh, TDK is a Japanese company, used whale oil in their tape binder. And that just works miracles, but because it's very environmentally unfriendly and will unfriendly mainly, uh, many companies wouldn't want to, and that's why many tapes are unreliable. Adorable, but problematic. Cool, really early Phillips box with a much later Phillips reel. I hope I find a reel to this because I like having this complete. It's a cool box. We got another surprise. This time it is a Maxell box. And I was like, ah, oh, there's a Mac in there. And then I looked at it and I was like, no, that, that's Maxell tape. Weirdly, it smells like 8mm film. It smells of uh, celluloid. That's weird. There's a bit of weird montage in there somewhere, so I do need to redo that. Apparently it has country on it. Or as most people from this area call it country, because imagine being able to pronounce it properly. Um, it says, uh, good tape, checked on the 27th of August 2014. I'm pretty sure that's not 1914. Um, this even has the 30 IPS speed mentioned on it. That's ridiculously fast on this reel. It's like, uh, let me think, uh, 11 minutes, I think. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, it's enough for one song if you want to master, but no one uses this tape for mastering. So this Sony box actually has this in it. It's a little sticker that you put on the beginning of the tape. As you can see, this bit is wider and it actually sort of catches behind the reel. So it sort of becomes auto-threading. It's not a great idea, of course, but they sold them that way. Kind of cool. It's a Sony box with a Philips tape, but it does come in the original Sony bag. <laughs> Mainton Tape. Kevin Coyne. Is that a musician? I have never heard of him. It's a cool box though. It, it's look, it looks like... Oh, there's another one of those reels. Hmm. I wonder if that belongs in this box. Kevin Coyne. Hardburn. Beautiful with a double L. Extremes. So it has counter numbers on there. So it tells you this album is from 0 to 445 four, five, four, five, five, and this is from 455 five, to whatever. They never figure that out. But it's different on every machine. So you don't really know anything, do you? Unless you... Never change machines. Sony empty reel box. Cool box. I don't think I've ever seen that box before. Modern, modern, it says. Okay. I'm not sure if that is this reel. This is the type 7. And this is the 7A. So I think that is actually the correct reel. That's a, that's a nice nice thing to see. Like so. Country and accordion potpourri. <coughs> If you see that second word, you know it's going to be shit country, because I do think there's some good country, but not that. Max L box. Oh, I think we got one again. I think we got one. Yay! Max L leader. Max L UD, very obviously. And it says Henny February. Henny's a name. Gross, gross reel. That's the first really bad looking reel I see, actually. Uh, another one of those cut open bags. Still not sure. I mean, I like that they did this because it actually helps store the tapes better, but couldn't they have just used bags for bread or something that actually fits? So this pile is about to topple over, but we've made it to the end of this box, so I'm going to put everything back and then go on to the last box. One last box full of boring white boxes that may or may not hide interesting secrets. This is a very boring box to look at. See what I mean? So here we go. These are shiny. We've got one small reel again, for some reason. It's just in there. It's a BS head. Let's see what the rest brings us. That happened. Empty tape. Blank tape. Whatever. Same thing in Dutch. Grundig! Really cool, really early Grundig reel in really nice shape. And I think even with the original tape, that may be acetate actually. This I think is quite smart. So it's kind of hard to neatly uh, categorize your tapes and see what's on them in one look. So you don't want to write on them because it looks messy. I usually just put dimos, but many people don't want that. And you do want to have a system. You can just use like a folder with, with numbers and then put numbers here. But this is smart. Just says top 100 there. So if you just look in the camera, you can say, ah, oh, it's that tape. You only need to open them. If you sort of know where they are, that's enough. So I like that system. First time I ever see that. Only works with these boxes though. So. Radio show, Radio 2 Belgium. 
erase. That's very specific. There's something that didn't like that. Why would you need to add what's on there and then decide that has to be erased? I mean, you may as well just not add what's on there. Ooh. Oh, there's not a dog gone. What did it do to those? These usually don't break. Oh, well. A nice metal reel. Ampex oil supply. What tape is on it? Not sure. Looks good. There's a lot of writing on it. Wow, someone went berserk with the counter. You see? Loads of counter numbers. Rock me baby, kung fu. I guess that's kung fu fighting. Rolling on the river. Proud Mary. Yeah, Proud Mary. Suicide has pain, a smash. Got Mrs. Robertson, rain drips. Rain drips? Raindrops are falling on my head. Yeah. Tijuana Sauerkraut, whatever that is. It's now or never. Oh jeez, these are Bad Moon Rising, have you ever seen the rain? Yeah, this could be okay-ish, but there's also some really meh stuff in between it seems. Mix taping is an art. Didn't expect this one, that's a really late Ampex reel. Most of these tapes are much older. Uh, it's got scotch tape on it, but uh, that's an Ampex reel. That's kind of a, an interesting find. Also, this may actually be a tape bag, but... These boxes are horrible for bags because they just don't really want to go in there, you see? I'm not even sure why I bother trying, but I'm just gonna... Yeah, so... <sighs> I'm gonna have to redo these someday. Uh, oh my god, it's the last tape. I didn't even realize. Let's put this to the side. Da -da 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 -da. It's a tape with a hole. What's our last tape? What's it gonna be? Ah, not very exciting, but let's unwrap it because it's the last one in an actual tape bag. It's a BASF, it says 40 on there, so apparently it was tape 40. It is definitely the tape that's supposed to be on there. It looks quite good. And that's that. That was all. Nothing too exciting, but we had a few cool reels and we had a few cool cassettes and um, a few laughs about the weird writings. Oh, I found another one, by the way. Kierig Roger. Okay, that's actually from uh, around this area. It's, oh God. It's carnival music, that's a thing in the south of the Netherlands. It's not for me, D don't bother. Um, yeah, that was it. That was my tape hole, my cheap tape hole, and there was some cool stuff in there, and there was a lot of predictable stuff in there. And at some point I'm gonna listen them all through, but that's gonna be for later. Bye! Oh, I'm probably not gonna make a video of that, by the way. That's way too much work. Bye!